Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mo here. Welcome back to more RC video reviews. Today in this video, I am going to fly the Voluntex RC Super Cup 500. Now, Super Cup already are very stable planes, but when you add a stabilization system in that, they become even better. And that's what this is. The Super Cup 500 from Voluntex RC with built-in stabilization system targeted towards beginners. And of course, professional pilots can have fun flying it. Now, I have chosen a nice windy day to fly it because you know windy days are the time to basically test the capabilities of these little RC aircraft with its built-in stabilization system let's put in the batteries let's fly it and see how it behaves but looking at it right here in my hand it's it's it's, it's already want to take off it's really very lightweight let's see how well it will handle all these gusty wins today this is the radio control it has one switch right here which says expert mid and beginner so we'll keep it in the beginner and fly it in beginner mode and see how beginner friendly this little baby is all right here it is the j3 super cub 500 and in beginner mode three channel ah they put the rudder on aileron ah, come on they should have left the rudder on rudder at the left side anyway here we go Okay. I cannot turn left, people. Okay. Very hardly I managed to turn left. I will put it to middle. I'm not able to turn. Not able to turn. Very hardly I made turn. I don't know why. Why? It's going there, people okay you have to increase the throttle a lot and only then it will actually you know make turns okay i will put it in intermediate mode and now i have slight more control on this windy day but i don't have much stabilization now i am on the mercy of uh the oh almost crashed it and landed by the wall i'm almost on the mercy of uh, you know it's up wing design okay i will turn on the stabilization and we will give it a try once again so basically the rudder is just way too small however given its profile it's really want to take off so here you go take off is just super easy but turning it around is <laughs> turning it around really you have to you have to give it a lot of uh, you know a lot of turn on the rudder and you have to increase the throttle as well only then it will actually uh, you know respond now I have very mild throttle but you can see my rudder is completely not responding very difficult to respond because of the winds so basically without winds I can easily conclude right here at this point without flying it too much without winds it will actually perform really nice but with winds you can say turns are really tough and i have to give a lot of throttle to make turns but the plane is pretty stable see it's actually handling the winds really nice it's not crashing let's see how can we land come on come on forward don't just hover there <laughs> I'm glad it has an elevator so I can actually reduce reduce the <laughs> altitude if I want okay come on come on <laughs> I'm having difficulties landing this baby but I can actually have fun hovering it and what I'm trying to do is make a landing so I need a good amount of throttle to make the left rudder work <laughs> and then dive 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 just like this and one moment one moment I'm almost there okay that was the best landing I could do <laughs> on non windy day it will definitely perform very well 
and will be very beginner friendly. I I'm just gonna try to land it now and just here, just here, yes, just like that. That was a smooth landing. And we will wait, 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 we will wait for non-windy days to fly it. Hey, don't go backward, come forward. Three channel RC airplane on such a windy day is still flying, is still performing. That is something. Enjoy and I do have plenty of battery left, so I'm just gonna have some fun flying it around.